Hello everybody and welcome to another Marco on a track Martin on a trackpad video. I still cannot believe that I haven't gotten used to that. Well, I'll just call it Moat from now on. You know what? That's it. I'll just call it Moat from now on. So hello everybody and welcome to another Moat video. Um, so last video, which was released um, two weeks ago, it says here, I said that by the time that January 4th came around, if I had 2,000 subs, I'd be super duper duper happy. And yeah, basically we're here today on my channel page because I wanted to tell you guys or show you guys that I actually have way more than 2,000 subs. I've got 2,046. The hell, what is this? Um, so for the longest time, it was just stuttering at like 1960-ish. Uh, um, and then suddenly it just like skyrocketed and it's ridiculous. If, if we go to analytics here, I think it shows just how high it's gotten over this like past month. Uh, if it loads, I don't know. My internet's been like really volatile, and I'm actually recording this on January the fourth, which is which is when I planned the video to come out. So if this video comes out like super duper late, and I'm like, oh yeah, thank you guys, on January the fourth, and it's already January the sixth, then it's probably because my internet totally screwed up on itself. Um, and so yeah, I don't know. Like when I was uploading subscriber challenges, it took ages and ages to do something that normally takes about like. Uh, an hour to do because like for some reason my video files are really huge but then this one just took forever to upload anyway these things are just not loading what the hell there you go yeah it's you know it's peaked at 18 but uh, much more than bef but that's still much much more than before because like before it probably averaged at around 5 but now it's averaging at around 10 ish so that's really really amazing guys and 2000 subs is just absolutely Amazing. I did not expect it to get it by January the 4th. So yeah, uh, the reason January the 4th is such a big deal is because I actually created my very first video on January the 4th of last year. So this is like an exact one year moat special. I was going to do something else entirely, but then I just kind of got distracted. And um, yeah, in the end, I didn't really know what to make. And that happens with me a lot. <laughs> so I just decided to go with a moat video. So we're just going to play some Forest Survive with No Crawler No Punk. This is a new map that was recently added by Fung. In fact, there's a new version actually, 01042015. This is the second update of 2015. The other one was 01032015 and basically it fixes some bugs, it does some things. Let's try and kill some Titans with, uh, with the Anti-Human 3DMG on normal. And so start. And off we go. I did say that I wanted to play with you guys once 2015 kicks in and that's still on the table. In fact, what I'm thinking of doing is like every Saturday. Yeah, in fact, not even like I'm thinking of doing. Let's make it concrete. Every Saturday starting next week from 5 to 6 in Mountain Standard Time because that's my um, time. I'm going to have a public server open called Skirazi and the password is going to be backflippers because I don't want like, like I don't want like modders and stuff coming in. Most of the time I think it's just going to be like a PVP map just because I find those really really fun. If you feel like playing with me then be sure to just hop in. I'll be playing for that hour or so. There's no way that I'll actually be able to uh, play with you guys directly for a bit. So yeah for subscriber challenges it's like not the definite way to do it at all. Um, but for now, it's like the only way to play with all of you guys in a, on a regular basis. So yeah, if you feel like playing with me, then I'll be on Saturday, 5 to 6, Mountain Sand time. Uh, with a server called Skirazi, password backflippers, like I said. And so, yeah. Uh, get your best game on, because I will be trying my best to kill all of you. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, other than that, it should be really, really fun to be able to play with you guys. There isn't much else that I really, really wanted to say. Um, happy New Year, if none of you guys have like ever actually received a Happy New Year from me yet through like any of my videos. Um, wow, no, it's been like a really hectic final week, if you ask me, of 2014. So because of that, I don't know, it's just been kind of crazy. I haven't actually recorded anything since New Year's Eve, even though I did like release the subscriber challenges. That was all recorded and edited before New Year's. Uh, so yeah, I don't know, it's just been kind of crazy, uh, this last week, and I've like, my, my sleep schedules, my sleep schedules are messed up and I can't even talk properly because of it. Uh, so yeah, you know what, I can't really think of anything else to say other than more complaints of random bullshit. So yeah, I guess it's off to future me now. Oh, yes, I finally killed the bastard. <laughs> wow. 
But yeah, I guess it's over to future me now to handle some of these questions that are coming my way. And I'll catch you guys later with another video. Take care, guys. Hello everybody, this is future me, as most of you have probably already heard from past me. <laughs> so yeah, this is the Q&A section. If you've got any questions of your own, then be sure to leave them in the comment section. Uh, and I will answer them next time. If you've got any suggestions for the Attack on Titan trivia game, I'll be happy to look at those and like offer my own um, inputs on those suggestions. I used to do that with the suggestion series, but once I've stopped that, I thought it would kind of carry over, but I guess it hasn't really. But anyway, uh, let's get started on these questions. The first one is about the Attack on Titan trivia game. It says, do you think eventually this kind of PvP, the one that was added in the uh, last update of 2014, will become a sort of pros always win kind of thing. Um, I only fear that it won't. So Buhan's question obviously has to do with um, the anti-human versus survey core battle PvP, the guns versus blades PvP that was recently added to the Attack on Titan tribute game. Do I think it'll be a pros always win kind of thing? Um, and by that I guess you mean do you think skill actually matters in this. I think it does, but it's not like the deciding factor. I personally think the PvP in this game is very, very well balanced. Uh, there's probably an equal chance of both teams winning, both guns and blades. It's just that I don't... Uh, and I think that's really, really cool. The only thing that I don't like about PvP at this point is the fact that the guns have such a huge downtime whenever they have to reload that it just takes away from a lot of the fun of actually killing um, other humans and consequently it also makes it less fun for the blades people because the blades people the only guaranteed way for the blades people to kill the guns people right now is to wait until they reload um, catch them off guard and then just slice away at them and that's kind of shitty in my opinion like if if there was a if there was a remedy to that then I'd be all over it in an instant but unfortunately there's no like definite way to be like oh yeah you know go for the mid-air kill and that's always like the easiest way to kill them if that was a bit if that method was a bit more prominent then I think PvP would be much more fun um but yeah like it's just way way too difficult to be like oh I'm gonna slice you in mid-air so you better watch out you know that's just so ridiculous you know they're small characters they're fast characters Trying to catch them in midair, it, trying to catch them in midair on purpose is absolutely ridiculous. And if you can, then you're not even, you're not even like pro at this point. You're just inhuman. Do you know what I mean? So because of that, I don't think this PvP is really awesome the way it is in the manga, for instance. But it is still very, very fun and it's still very, very exciting. It's just that because of those down times, because it relies so much more on. Um, timing and luck. I, j I just do not believe that pros uh, will have any sort of benefit in the long run. I mean sure they will have some sort of benefit in like if I find you walking on the ground then I can snipe you out with my anti-human 3DMG or like oh if I find you reloading I'm gonna reel straight to you in an instant and you'll be dead. Like that kind of proneness if you will um, will always have a benefit but if you look at the game as a whole then I just don't think it has that much weight. So yeah, while pros always win would be a good thing, I just don't think it's gonna happen soon. The next question comes from Matt Wright who says, will you do any other games? Yes, but not yet is my answer to that. Basically, I'm trying to find like a good program um, to do stuff with. Like from, as many of you guys may or may not know, I play on a Mac on a trackpad and that is not like the easiest way to play video games. So um, if I can find a way around that, then I'll definitely do more games. And yeah, I'm really, really excited to get to that point. But until I get to that point, it's just um, more Attack on Titan stuff, more like voice work stuff. Um, some of you guys may have seen my Skirazi Reads videos. Um, some of you have maybe seen my Skirazi fan dub video. Um, and I'm definitely aiming to do more of that, as well as some like other side work that I hope gets some traction in the future. But other than that, yes, I am looking to do more games. It's just right now I don't have the systems um, the literal systems to uh, really pursue that angle. And the final question comes from Kurt Bonnie Steel. Kurt actually asked like three questions, but I thought it'd be kind of tasteless to have three questions from the same person on the same video. Uh, so I just picked one. And that question is, what are your top five anime? And wow, top five is kind of a ridiculous question to ask me in my opinion. I just can't I just can't pick like top five on a critical level. But if if I had to pick like my top five 
most watchable anime for me personally. It would have to be, I don't know, Fully Cooly would definitely be on there. Gurren Lagann would be on there, both by Gainax actually, I don't know if that's a coincidence or not. <laughs> um... Ping Pong, the animation, is a very, very good show, and I just love it. I love it, I love it, love it. Either Ping Pong or Tatami Galaxy, they're both by the same director, so I don't really think that I'd have both of them on the same list. Um, but definitely one of them. They're both absolutely amazing. Uh, and I love them both to bits. I guess Bebop would have to be there. Um, and Gankutsuo, maybe? Maybe? <laughs> I don't know, it, it's it's a hard pick. Gankuto would definitely be one of my favorite anime of all time, but it it's it, it, there's a lot of competition, is basically what I'm gonna say. I'd, I'd pick Fate Zero, but I haven't rewatched it yet. I've just seen it once, and I really, really liked it that once. But um, yeah, I haven't actually picked out a time to be like, oh, I should really rewatch this uh, entirely. So yeah, I guess it's Gankutsu over now, but that's just like a random pick that could get easily replaced anytime soon. Uh, and so yeah, that's my top five for now. I still have a lot on my plan to watch, so I guess I can't just be like that, 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 and that. Uh, that'd be kind of silly. So yeah, thank you guys very much for watching this one year slash 2000 subs special. I think what I'll eventually do is make like a little montage to celebrate that fact, but I mean like if I've already missed the one year special then there's no point making a one year another one year special video um but i guess it'll just be like a commemorative montage and be like oh yeah this was like the past year i'm not really sure though i'm just not good at making those videos i like making new videos and just being like yes footage yes i need footage precisely for this you know video and i completely need like new footage which of course i'd love to have because there's been so many like animation updates so many um graphical updates that having a new montage based on like the latest updates would be super look, look super duper cool so i'm excited in doing stuff like that and so yeah if i start working on it you should see it by the end of january but if i don't start working on it then i doubt i'll ever ever do it but yeah anyway thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed it be sure to give it a like share with your friends and anyone else who you think will enjoy it Comment, of course, ask questions for me to answer in the next video, and hopefully I'll get more than just three questions. And yeah, be sure to subscribe for more Attack on Titan trivia game content, and I'll catch you guys next time.